<laughs> what's what's dude's name though? Like, man, we started the podcast. Saying, I didn't say I gotta say it, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, man, we back again. Right. Episode eight, new pod flow. I'm Big Steve. Ryan. Vern. Yeah, so we back. Episode eight, two months in. Two months. Celebrate. What? How you say it? Celebratory. 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 <laughs> Ooh, wait. Stop button soon cometh. Whoa. <laughs> Man, like you ain't never fucked a word up before. Nigga, we fuck up words every week, dog. Exactly. Nigga That's... Bricks called me the other day talking about what's pirate. I was about to hung up on it. <laughs> I was about pirate. to hung up. Who on said it. that? You? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I fucked it up. You Pir- called me out on it. Pirating. Pirating at the music and right. Pirating. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I do remember. I be forgetting, bro. I be doing a lot of shit on the computer for the podcast. Trying to take us to the next level. Shout out to our listeners over in um, Poland, yeah, and Brazil, yeah, and South Korea, South Korea. Yeah, man, we crossing these waters out here, and uh, we got another one somewhere in UK, somewhere. Yeah, UK's on there. They've been on there though for a minute. Yeah, but yeah, shout out to our international listeners, man. We appreciate y'all trying to. Take over the world out here. Yeah. How you doing, Ryan? I'm all right. What's going on, man? I ain't talked to you in a week. A week. Yeah. yeah. What you been doing, man? Literally a week. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't talked to him since we started. <laughs> what, y- what y'all been doing? I ain't nothing, man. Just podcast shit, bro. What you or, been doing? Shit. Not podcast shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big podcast shit, man. Nigga like what? You seen yeah. these? No, I haven't seen those. Mm, okay. Sorry. Right. <laughs> I can keep this one? No, you got to pay for that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, episode eight. What we talking about today? Where we starting at, Steve? Y'all want to y'all wanna start with the uh, Tory Lanes? Let's start with Tory. King Tory. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's an honorary Canadian. King Tory. What makes him king? No, nah, I'm fucking around, but I like what he's doing, though. Like, the way that he's... I mean... I don't really think he's the best rapper in any sense. I actually like his R&B shit more than I like his rap stuff, but it's just the way that he's responding to any and everybody. He's putting this shit out there. People saying what they got to say, recording records, and he's coming right back with it. You think he's responding to any and everybody? You don't think there's like a cutoff? Like a, I mean, we'll see. I'm not responding to this but thing. But to that latest one, though, even J.R. Ryder just came out talking about Tory Lanez. So. That's why I'm getting that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I don't I don't think he's going to reply to everybody, but I think he'll reply to whoever's relevant enough. Nah, yeah, I think he's only going to reply to people that he thinks can I don't. I don't but, know about I mean, Don Q. Don Q, Don Q is, Don is not, not really a really... big name, though, so I mean... Joyner wasn't even a big name, so I'm, I think, I think Joyner's Don, Grammy nominated. Now. I think Don Q. I think Don Q's a big name in New York, though. Yeah, he's on. He's up and coming. Yeah, but I don't. I've never. Li- I never listened to Don Q. Is the it, first time I heard of Don Q is literally when the snippet that dude played at the beginning. That's the first of that time song. you heard of him. I heard him. Well, no, I heard. Yeah, no, nah, that's the first time I had heard his name when Nikki was, was like, who's okay, that? Okay, okay, yeah. I was, I was really tripping. I thought he was talking. When I saw Don Q, I read Don Trip. No, no, no. Look, actually, the first time I heard Don Q and see who he was, I I had seen his clip when he was like, Nikki, get your head out your big ass. I'm well, the hottest nigga in the, the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, get together. That was when I first heard him, heard, heard of him, and then I went back and listened to that uh was that Queen Radio? What was that? Yeah. Some interview. Mm. No, I think it was just a flex interview. Mm. And I went back and listened to that afterwards, and I was like, oh, okay, I didn't, I ain't know nothing about Don he's Q. Actually, uh, he's decent. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he's straight. I thought yeah, his first, I thought his his song was straight that Tor- he put out. Tory watched that nigga. Yeah, he got. I mean, Tory went personal. Talking about that <laughs> niggas infecting chicks and starlets and shit. I'm like, wow, this yeah. nigga. I didn't know they had any type of. Background, yeah, like for him to just know. No, nah, they don't, they really didn't have no beef like that. Like Don Q really didn't say nothing bad about him on that diss song. I mean, he was going at him, but yeah, he he said some Ghost Rider shit and shit like some just some accusing, accusing. He, he did shit. take a, a Philly rapper's uh, bar and used it in that song though. Hmm. The uh, the diss, some yeah, Philly rapper was on Funk Flex. That. I don't even know his name. Which who, we can give who? him credit. Tory. Who took who took There's the a dude that came Tory out did? and clipped. You know how they do the clips. He clipped yeah. the <laughs> um, audio. Yeah. And the flow was. I, it wasn't the same bar, was it? It was just the flow was kind of similar. Nah, he said the same thing. 
I do. I don't remember seeing it, but yeah, it was on academics page. If I find it, I'll send it to y'all at all. Yeah. But but yeah, he he de- he definitely uh smoked dude. He it, smoked. That was a five minute song too. He yeah. killed that for five minutes straight. That yeah. was dope. Yeah, and he did it on the uh, the Duppy freestyle beat. <clears throat> yeah, and then Don Q was on that uh he was on that old Biggie beat. Oh right? yeah, victory. Yeah, the victory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He flowed on there. Mm-hmm. I can't. I don't even remember what the second one was on. He put out a disc yesterday, but uh, it was a wash. Yes, yeah, I, I wasn't yeah, listening history, to the second one after Tory got him out of there like that. Yeah, Tory said he wasn't even gonna respond to do no. That's way. why. Yeah, and he don't need to. He, he shouldn't. No. no, he shouldn't. He said what he had to say. He I, got it down. I'm Move with on. you, Ryan. I like what dude's doing. I like what Tory's doing. I mean, I, I, it's I cool. I mean, it's doing. cool. You know what I mean? It's just like let's see. Let's what I like about it is is no matter what. I don't think Tory loses any of these. Nah. You know why? Because niggas is He's not a they, rapper? Is that what you about they, to say? No. They go <laughs> they they going into it expecting to to out rap him. Yeah. He can rap. Yeah. He can rap. It's never he's not nobody's going to for so far, the people that he's that he's battling, these this tier of rapper, nobody's gonna tear his ass up and he's not gonna be able to come back with something. You know what I'm saying? Like dude raps just as well as these rapidy rap niggas. I don't think none of the big names is going to respond to it. Like he's coming out the and pushers and J. Coles of the world. I don't I don't think they're about to respond. Good. That nigga's, yeah, that nigga's doing some Adrian yeah, Broner yeah, type promo. He don't promo. want that smoke with some real rappers, though. We don't know that. Come like, on, Come bro. on, we don't know that, man. I, hey. I never say that somebody don't want that until we see him in that position. So you think if this nigga called out Jada, he was just going to watch Jada? I don't know. I'm just saying I don't know. I, I would listen. I don't know. Like, I don't know what happened. I mean, of course you would listen. Yeah, I'm not but saying, I'm just like, saying, like, you can, really I, say- can I make a hot take real quick? Go ahead. I got faith to hold it down, though. He might watch Jada, though. He nah, might, I, in 2019. Nah, I'm 2019, still not going to let you, I'm still not going to let you say that. He might watch Jada. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to jump with that on same that. flow. Which is still nasty. Why? why I'm, 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 that flow is copy. still nasty. He said that, like, like, he said that, like, that's still not, like, that's still not moving. Yeah, I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? I ain't listening to Jada still. I ain't listening to no new Jada. Yeah, I ain't crazy. checking for no new Jada. Nigga, why not? You, nigga, I don't even know why we talk music because you say you don't listen to music for Every real. time we say something. I don't yeah. listen to music. Nigga, we just was talking about the disses. Bro, but you still say, I'll hit you up. You li- Nah, I ain't listen to it, bro. I'm old now. I don't listen to music, bro. I like I to listen. ride around listening to podcasts. What's wrong with that? You just don't listen to music no more. I listen to I listen to some music. Don't come at me like that live. We're on Jada's air. still nice, though, man. He's still, He's still nice. nice? Yeah. I mean, listen to that recent tape he dropped with Fab. That shit was nice. nice they dropped the whole... Me. Definitely not about to listen to Fab. Oh, yeah. What? You talking about the Freddie vs. Oh. Jason? Yeah, that was dope. Damn, like, you don't like that's Fab, That's what, what I'm saying. Like, I don't like so, Fab, Fab? Fab, done. done. I used to like Fab. Done what? He's done. Niggas and if I do done. say it's a cup of brown, nigga, thought that was trash, didn't you? A lot of what Fab says is trash. You nigga say suicide and all kinds of crazy... That nigga be saying some whack shit. I mean, he I don't got listen some to whack Fab. bars, but overall, Fab is <laughs> nigga, not. He got some whack bars. Yeah, he does, bro. He, Fab he, got some whack bars. He says it. some Instagram shit. That's that's what I consider it. He says a lot of the shit be lame for him. He says that a nigga lot of say the Instagram shit. They get fourteen shit. likes. Yeah, <laughs> Fab straight though, man. He's still he's still producing good music for him. Huh? I'm not, is he? Yeah, I'm not. I'm I not. love there is no competition. The first one. The second one was Yeah, the, the first one, one is the best one. I be telling niggas that. God bless, man. It is. It's so hard, dog. Yeah, that that that's the one that came out in like probably like 07 or something, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's the best one, hands down. Yeah. Two was dope too. Two, I thought two was pretty dope. It's two, st- two the one with the funeral stuff. Yeah, on the I front. still kind of listen to that one every it ain't, day. It ain't dope, dope. It's some skippable shit on there. Those the that's the one that's got he got some some like fake T Pain and fake Rihanna features on there, don't he? Like, like Trey, I think Trey songs got some is weird on songs that sound on real close to yeah. somebody, but ain't. Yeah, he was replacing them. Yeah. So 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 Tory, so Tory just washed. This is no competition. He just washed. It was a, it was a wash. He's, was a he's, he's, wash. he's done with him. He gets, it's on to the next one. Yeah. It's on to Jid. You think he can? You think he can run through the whole dream bill? He could run through Kendrick Jr. I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna be realistic, dog. Because I've only been thinking, like, it's not going to go past Jid. I don't think that no matter who wins that, Jid's the only one paying and they get any attention. Uh, and I think that's going to be another clean sweep. 
<laughs> if we being honest. <laughs> nigga leaned into the mic. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be another clean sweep. Yeah. I think I Tory think, could. I don't think he got much for Tory. Yeah. And you don't even listen to him. I've listened to enough <laughs> to know. Yeah, G could come through. Back up in this bitch. In this yeah. bitch. That was happening. Yeah. He's going to come with the latest Kendrick flow. He's going to come with that Kendrick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, watch. He's about to drop a control we tell it. We was telling Steve, just for the listeners, we was telling Steve before the podcast, as, as soon as as soon as Tory said it, nigga sound like Kendrick. It's over. It's over. That's all he has <laughs> to say, bro. <laughs> nigga, how do you win a battle saying a nigga sound like somebody and that's just a laugh out loud funny? You can't man. use, no, because because then you can't reply back without sounding like Kendrick. That's an L. You have to change. He literally but, would but have to change while, his though, voice. Everybody's saying the same shit about Tory. They really are. They just him. talking about his hairline and Drake. <laughs> nah, that shit's trash. I'm just saying. That's that everybody just came nah, out. I'm, so I'm far, just saying. Like, like, yeah, that is. But like, that's, talking about it. I'm like, nigga, yeah, that's how they coming at him about. Is it fucking 2010? Niggas yeah. throwing hairline jokes. Like, yeah, they used like, to do that shit to LeBron. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that, you gotta come. You, obviously, from what Tory is doing to these niggas, that's you gotta what, come that's, harder. That's, they, that. that's why he don't want to deal with a nigga like Push. Because Push, Push is gone. Push, you know, push stays spilling the tea. Yeah, you so know, you know push, push is gonna come with some shit. Push is messy, bro. No telling. What you know, push, push gonna come with some shit like, oh, yeah. Push gonna say, push gonna, oh, <laughs> oh, push gonna come with that latest TSR, yeah. the, the shade, shade room. room. Yeah, <laughs> push gonna come with that shade room news. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think he can. Uh, I don't think he can. I don't think he can mess with anybody on Dreamville. I mean, that's just me. The I'm, thing, a, I'm a hip hop nigga though, so. But the thing, what's but the that thing mean with, though? What you when you say that though? You a hip hop? What's that supposed to mean? That, they, that they, he's, he's they hip, for they the real, with the bars. yeah, they real rap niggas. They real rappers, and that's the thing. Like we just, <laughs> and that's and that's why Tory is winning these battles is because he's rapping with the real rap niggas as well as the real rap niggas. So a nigga could get Tory out of here, but if if Tory is this close. You might you, if it's if it's hard to gauge. But he's saying, then he don't, but y'all it. saying he don't want it with the real rappers. Like he's not really rapping though. Like I I'm just, not saying nigga, that he don't want it with the real rappers. He, I'm he saying really he don't want it with the real killers. That, that's they who the, who, the top, who, the, who has JID? No, no, no. I hope we not saying JID. JID is not. He's saying nobody on Dreamville because he's they hip hop. Like he's saying that. He's not going. He's not. I don't. I just don't see J Cole. J Cole is not responding to him. Like, he's not. He's That's not. What I'm, saying. I'm, not, even thinking, be, I'm re- not even thinking about that. You got to be real. I think no. J. Cole might not respond, though, just For to kind of save him. Who? I'm saying, yeah, like, what I'm just saying, though. Well, how like, would it look if Cole lost? Yeah. That would look bad as fuck. I don't think yeah. he's gonna respond because of that. And if and he does, if he does respond, it'll be on his album, and it'll be like a shot, a line. one or two bars. Yeah, yeah. J. Cole gonna call him and try to have a sit down. J. Cole's not. Nah, he's not doing all that. Yeah. He's he definitely gonna have. Pump. He's definitely gonna yeah. have a bar or two with him. But I mean, little pumps. A, he's a kid, bro. Nigga, J. Cole, thirty three, arguing with this seventeen year old. How old's Tory? Tory. Tory's, Tory's right almost thirty. Yeah. Tory's almost thirty. I thought yeah. he was early 20s. Yeah, that's, he been out for a minute. So he, he been out for a grip. He had that song, uh, <laughs> shit, dude, talk about how he used to move weight and shit. You remember that? <laughs> you remember when he first came out yeah, as a rapper? I remember that shit. Like, yeah, I knew I dude as a rapper before a singer. Yeah, but that, come on. I, I don't believe He's 26. I knew he wasn't that old. Yeah. Nigga, that's almost 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Round up. But nah, you gotta be realistic. I think I think it starts and stops with with JID. G, I think we don't know. I'm I'm just saying. I don't. I, I don't even see. I don't even see. What's he gonna? He gonna go I with the I, whole? I, I don't even care about this shit. Come on, Steve. I don't, bro. Why? Why? Why are we doing a podcast? No. I'm saying no. I'm saying I don't care about Tory. He keeps getting online saying I want to go with all the rap niggas. I want to go with Pusha T. I want to go with Cole. And I'm gonna go through the whole Dreamville. That niggas doing some wrestling shit. Like, That's all it nigga, is. Nigga, if you so cold at battling, go battle one of these rap battle niggas. You want them to battle Loaded Lux? Yeah. <laughs> nigga, come off the top of the head. That nigga want to go right for three days and then come back. Like, yeah. nigga, no, nah, you want battle everybody. Nigga, go fucking to. He's just trying to tap into that at, at, at battle rap or that grimy hip hop rap crowd. He's But he's not, though. I don't hit those. None of the stuff he's put. That one song he put out, the first one, he was rapping fast as hell. Yeah. I didn't, that, I didn't hear the second one. I didn't care to hear it. And then I heard this Don Q one. I'm just waiting on a new chick's tape, man. Yeah, that was those. 
I don't even really get hype for them. What? Toys Cold. Those is dope. Toys are cold. He's a way better singer. Nah, yeah, his R&B music's way better. But I'm saying, but what does that say about Tory? If that nigga's a way better singer than he is a rapper, and we even discussing him in this range. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, hey, dude's nice. He got a lot of potential. He's still young, man. He he got a lot of potential in his career. Nah, he flowed like a motherfucker on that uh, on that W freestyle beat. Yeah, Yeah. man. I'm telling you, dude's nice, man. He got a he got a lot going. Yeah. Dude. I got I got faith in him against whoever. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I got faith That's in him against wild. whoever. That is wild. That like I, saying, I think I think he could all bring these... Esco out here. He's like, oh, I got Tory. Nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I got faith in him. I think he could hold his own against whoever. I think he'll hold his own against anybody who's actually going to give him the attention that he's looking for. But then again, who knows? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. That's it. Like I mean, and 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 I mean, it's just some some. I mean, Don Q, Joyner Lucas, these is niggas that stay hopping into some, you know what I'm saying? I just respect it because they saying something and he's responding quick. It's yeah. not like he's making us wait for no shot on no album. He's coming out with a track a day or two later. Like Drake. There you go. <laughs> hey, Drake did come out with that shit kind of fast, though. It was the day of. The day after. Saturday, the Pusha T album came out Friday. Duppy Freestyle came out Saturday. Nah, it came out the same. It came day. out the same day. It came out the same yeah, day. Yeah, because it was a freak. They he both had, came out he on, had already heard the song though. They, they both came out that Friday because I remember I had got off. Of, yeah, they came out the same day. Mm. Yeah, Push came out like Monday or something. Nah, Push mm. came out Friday. So nah. hold on. So Steve, you got you got JID I'm, I'm talking over about the story of added Don. Oh, it did. That took like a came out like Monday uh, or two. Yeah, that came out a couple of days after. You you got JID over Tory? Yeah. Never heard JID diss anybody. So. I've heard him rap. Mm, I don't always, we don't always work that way. I I know it don't. But <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the real spitter over the R and B nigga. Uh, what what? Why is Tory not a real spitter? That's what I that's what I don't understand. Like, what do you keep trying to say when you're yeah, saying yeah, the, yeah. Real, the real the real hip hop? That's what I'm not understanding. But the Tory's spitting. Tory's rapping his ass off, dog. On a song. Or two. What do you mean? What do you what? mean? That's not his lane. You're talking about niggas that that's what they do is rap. The niggas put and together. What is he doing? doing? It just as good. He's rapping over nigga a, a beat dissing a nigga. He ain't he, got he his ain't own rapping though. He ain't doing his own produced shit. And if he yes, does, he it's is. just trash, nigga. Oh, uh, here you go. Oh God. You have never you, seen a Swayze freestyle when a nigga got up from the chair? It was the same height. Have you listened to like? Have you really listened to his mixtapes and shit though? Where he's rapping. I don't want to. Exactly. Wow, okay. So you the argument is Boy, not even like valid. Just like you ain't listen to Jid. I've listened to enough. Like I've actually listened to him. Bro, rap. I've listened to Tory too. I can't remember the name of the song. That uh, the song you have you really listened the song, bro? What is the name of the rap uh, mixtapes? I've heard them. The, the I've new heard Toronto. One of them. The, the nigga got bars though. He got a series of mix. He got the chicks tapes. The new Toronto. And then he got he's, another, he's the other series numbers. where he's rapping. I've heard one of the rapping ones. I've, I've listened to both of them niggas. I listened to two JID tapes, and I done heard Tory rap. I done watched Tory on radio interviews well, rapping just, and let, shit. Let I these think. niggas just rap, and then we come so around do you, and talk about but, it. Okay, so since watch. you've listened to both sides, you've listened to more JID than me. Do you think it's just a easy win for JID? No, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, no, I he never don't heard think so JID. because JID sounds like Kendrick, and as yeah, soon as he says he sounds like Kendrick, he's going to win. That's, that's in my opinion, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Because if a nigga say you sound like Kendrick, and, and this is the thing, and on Twitter and all that shit, JID, just drop the song, nigga, just drop the song. Yeah, <laughs> so like, if, if Tory comes out first and say you sound like Kendrick, and then you come out with a song that sound like Kendrick, nigga, you lost. You lost. You can't come out sounding like Kendrick Steak. after the nigga said you sound like Kendrick. You got to do something else. Steeg's over like, but he doesn't sound like Kendrick. <laughs> come on, man. He says he doesn't sound like Kendrick all the time. All the time. No. Yeah, he don't. No. I don't. I, I think that Tory, I think Tory could either get him or he's going to give him a run for his money where you just can't say. Man, this is Tory's year, man. And, if he, and niggas like Steeg just, uh, I'm, I'm real, this real deal hip hop. When people say real that, that shit is so but, like. But, hold on. But you know, when you say that, real hip hop, real hip hop, okay. And then Tory comes and, and bars niggas up or or bar with them niggas, then what 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 are we saying here? Is he really taking an L? He he's not real hip hop. That's not his lane. So the fact that we can even discuss him in that is enough. Yeah. It's not his lane. That nigga coming to that lane and, and then niggas knocking yeah. niggas outside their damn head. Whoever. Man. So we about to That's see. Crazy. We gonna see. Yeah, but Tory got smoked by Dream Dog. <laughs> Y'all ain't mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. Dick mouth. 
<laughs> Dream Doll did get him. Dream Doll got him out of here. Did you not? Did you not listen to it? The whole I thing? mean, I just heard it when you was listening to it. it was oh, like, so you didn't hear the whole thing? I should have. I just heard. No, I'm saying you listened. You had it on repeat. But I had it in my headphones. But I could, so. no, I'm saying we could hear that. We could hear word, word we did for word. Hear it. We yeah, we could it. hear word for word when you was playing. Yeah, That's like, like she, she got. I listened it. to a minute clip. That how long was the song? Like two minutes. Well, two I listened to a minute clip on IG. So I, like I just heard the rest of it. I mean, yeah, she smoked it. She nigga. cooked him. She, him said up she real had tough. Beijing on her leg. That was kind of funny. <laughs> right, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was <laughs> kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. She cooked him up, man. You know, she, I, I like in my some, disses is when it's some. You know, like when Ross told told Birdman that he loved him. I was yeah. like, damn, that's hard. He showed him some love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's hard. Yeah. So when Dream Doll said, you know, I actually felt I was feeling him. Yeah. yeah. I was like, damn, man. That's, that makes me, that makes me, me like Me and Vern was more. arguing about this yesterday, though. About how I hate when niggas do that shit like that. Do what? Oh, oh personal like, shit? Nah, not that. But to bring the chicken. Bring the chicken. Yeah, bring the chicken and be like, oh, I fucked her. I, I mean, but yeah, like, that, that was kind of, he threw that in there, though. Like, I, yeah, that's kind of whack. I don't. Because 50 did that. Did that shit to game, cause game. Uh, it was he said something about fucking Maya. He was like, "I fucked her too." Game. That's uh, yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is lame. I'm not. So you mean chicks like when niggas say that they mess with the same girl? That's whack. Or when niggas just bring girls in in general? Well, they just bring them whack. in in general. Like leave the both. Both. What are you even bringing that up? Like what are you even bringing that up for? Pusha T did it, bro. That's not. He didn't have a relationship with that girl. You just said both. I said girls in general or? Well, no, girls you have relationships with. Okay. 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 Then I can't. Okay. I'm not. I wanted to really. I really wanted to get into the push your teeth thing. Because clearly, push like, she's, they was obviously he, like. That's the closest thing to do when you haven't. If me and Ryan never, if we never dated the same girl, but I had a whole bunch of dirt on one of Ryan's girls and yeah. I used that, that's. Extremely close. I feel like that's kind of parallel. Yeah, that's with, messy. That's trash. that's pretty parallel, though, isn't it? I with, think the main hey, thing that yeah, was I trash about about with that is how he said he had the info way before he recorded the song. So why are you just setting on info about this man like that? Like that shit was messy, man. He, he couldn't. He couldn't set on the. He Le, couldn't LeBron. Wait. He couldn't on the wait. LeBron thing. Yeah, he couldn't the, wait to drop that shit. Like nigga, how is he setting on info when? Why did you even? Why nigga, are you even discussing this about type his of son? Shit? Just came out. But what I'm saying though, who, if you who listen, put it out, push put it out. Okay, then. But if you listen to the interviews, he said he had that information before he even dropped Daytona. So you have this information and you throw a line at dude, hoping he responds to he hope you can drop I, I don't this. Think like push is hoping he responds. Why well, say something about him in the song, nigga? He ain't never responded. But so you don't want somebody to respond if you just saying something about him, like he put Bruh, that line. That nigga on has that. said shit about Drake for years, and why well, keep saying it if you don't do want him to respond? Maybe, maybe, maybe he's Drake. Just, I don't know. I'm just saying. Talking about Tory Lanez, but I think, but I think Pusha T was casting that line. For it, that's what I'm trying to time. say, though. Like, why he's saying I don't think he was, he didn't want him to respond. Then why say it? Why put he cast any base on him? You said, he I, you said he wanted him to respond. Nigga, I said I don't think him. he cared if he responded. No, or not. come on, wanted that Push shit. capped his album, this and Drake. Yeah, man. Come on, that's man. that's bait. That's casting the line. Come on, now. because you got something bigger that you want to. A nigga fell for like like he, and he got Jake and just, he and he got even more surgical summer, but we're not even talking about that. I don't know how we got to talk about you, some shit. He was that talking about back in June. he's talking about bringing the women in, and bringing then women he just in used too. that as a, a different way, like how he brought the baby. I'm trying to figure that's, out. That's, I'm just, that's I'm just different. Though. That's not the, the same thing. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I wish we was doing this podcast over the summer because a good question would be because the topic back you know on on Jonah's podcast was do you. Have I mean? It, are there rules? Are there barriers to, to nah, this right? Nah. And what, and what I be tripping out is when people be there's like, "No barriers," but why bring the chick in? Nigga, because there's not, no barriers. I'm just saying though. But when but people what be they like, got to "Do with some shit," she minding her own fucking business. Yeah, maybe it's then, just me looking at stuff different. To me, those are the filler lines. Tory killed that nigga when Tory killed Don Q when he was talking about his dead homie. He dedicated a whole mixtape to that flopped. <laughs> <laughs> But like I don't know I think I just look at Disrespect different Cause there's not too, Like I don't hear These tracks and be like Oh that was so Disrespectful Like they are not Even really saying much I mean you Who? Know, Which ones? No, are you just talking About diss tracks in general? diss track in general Like that's hmm? Well this nigga's Talking as well Hold that's on a, Tori Tori said the nigga Got STDs, STDs and shit. That's disrespectful Niggas, niggas talking about That nigga's daughter Niggas talking about His dead homie Like that's, that nigga Was extremely disrespectful 
I guess it's just me. I don't know. I would have been like, fuck what you talking about. So when about. Cam told Nas, I hang with your mother on I hang with your mother on Mother's Day because your mother Stan L Stan spit, yeah. Yeah. I you hung understand. with your on mother Day because stuff. your mother's dead. Yeah. That, was that disrespectful to you? And then he said he was his father. I guess it's just me. I don't I don't give a fuck about none of that. You say Damn. All right, next topic. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying, though, like, I'm saying where, you can pick where anything. Game been saying the Kim Kardashian, where how he been coming. Wait, back into disrespect. Like, is that pushing it? Nah, games, yes, games that is corny disrespect. For this one. I thought, cool. I thought it was, but but you can't take nigga, it. Nigga, I mean, fam, are you ever gonna be like married with children? I this don't nigga, know, bro, I don't think about. But the nigga shit. is talking about another man's wife, who's the mother of three or four kids. But it's old, about. so it's just like, why do you so even why, give a why shit? Why are you talking about? I'm it? just saying. So if it's like somebody is that game says, shit new. What that song? Yeah, that's on his new album. Yeah, it's on his new album. So if somebody Name's says something ugly. about your ex that, or somebody says something about your girl, she was you know that she was with him a long time ago. Are you gonna give a fuck, nigga? That's supposed to be his home. Hold on, do, but hold on. Here's a question: Would you say something about another nigga's girl? No, I don't talk then, about. Him would in you general. say something about another nigga's no. girl? Would I say something about another nigga's girl? No. No, so, so, the, so niggas in general shouldn't be talking about other niggas. They shouldn't, girls. They shouldn't but besides so, that point, so, though, besides so that point, if yeah. it does come out, then yes, it's disrespectful. Games hopping on the fucking train. Nick Cannon nothing did that shit. Uh, Ray J hit it first. Like <laughs> niggas, like games just hopping on the fucking train. It's the the cool thing now is to smack Kanye upside the head. And it, but this ain't the first time Games did that though. He went on uh, Wendy Williams a few years ago talking about he smashed the whole family. Yeah, he said that. The dude said he was making, what he said, he's making Kylie's cereal in the morning. Yeah, he said that on the song. Yeah, he came out and said he was, nah, he was making her Frosted Flakes in the morning. If it's as old as y'all say it is, come on, man. What, like, if what's old, the, the track the, is... The, no, if Game was on uh, Wendy Williams a few years ago when Kylie was underage and he's talking about making her cereal, come yeah. on. We got to get Game. We got to get a documentary on Game. We got to get him That'd out of here. be a wild documentary. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find the bar like, for the listeners about the cereal. Nah, not no, that. <laughs> nigga, the bar about the cereal. No, he no, said he was making. About, no, that was no. that was in a song though. He that said was he was in the ma- song yeah, too. Yeah, he was. About, he was so I don't remember how it went, but he was no. like something about when she woke up making a cereal. Like Man, that was no. part of the, the game. Track. Game, I, you can't take that nigga serious, dog. But what's crazy is game makes great. Fucking music. That's all that you can take serious. But like it's he's always been consistent with his music. He just gets into this little bullshit that yeah. is it keeping him relevant? No, it don't. Nobody I fucking don't think, cares. I, I gotta read this shit, bro. So Gain called into the radio station and uh, explained his line and shit. So, but I gotta the, read the his new bar Kim first. K line. Yeah. Okay. So the, so to the listeners out there uh, that don't know, so Game rapped. I held Kim Kardashian by her throat, nigga. I made her swallow my kids until she choked, nigga. I should apologize because yay my folks, nigga. This for all my vice lords and lokes, nigga. <laughs> so I hope the vice lords and lokes are like, come on, man. Yeah, they probably like, come on, my guy. So yeah, that was that was to me that was hella disrespectful, especially when and then you followed up talking about yay's my fam and shit. Like, bro, I'm sorry, me and you cool, bro, but don't say shit about my wife, bro. That's that easy. Like we like I just said. Okay, Ryan, you said you don't find the shit you wouldn't be wouldn't offended give by. A you fuck. wouldn't give a fuck about no. it. No. Talk all but the shit you want. But at the same time, though, you wouldn't make? do it. You wouldn't say it. I wouldn't know because I don't, no I don't play them type of games nigga, with people. No normal nigga would say it. Yeah, I mean, I don't play them type of Niggas games, that, but that n- shit won't bother me, though. But I'm saying <laughs> I don't play them games with people because I just don't. It's pointless. Like, what are, you, what are you saying that shit for? Especially if it's old. Like, who gives a fuck? All right. So, so game called in to... Um, a radio station in LA, I guess on Monday. Uh, was it Big Boy's Neighborhood? So Game called in and said, you got people that, you know, they watch movies that feel like this is too much or this is disrespectful. And then when people say, oh, she's a mother. Yeah, my mom was a mother. How did I get here? I'm pretty sure my mom swallowed. Let's be real. <laughs> How did I get here? My mom swallowed. <laughs> Everybody listening like, yo, your mama didn't. Didn't get nasty. How did you get here? Come on, game, bro. He trying to use that. It's everybody. And I love, bro. It's not about people getting game, nasty. Bro. It's about I love game, but damn, that's that stupid as fuck. That was that was a trash comparison. That's trash. Yeah, that, was trash. that is trash, bro. It's just it like why say it is the thing. Like why say it? But the, what he's he's trying to say like explain the bar like oh she swallowed my kids. What's wrong with that? Like no, that's not the <laughs> point. Like you, you know what I mean? Like that's how he's trying to explain it. Like. My mama was swallowing kids too. Like, no, that's not what we're saying. 
the thing is, why are you saying that shit in general? Like, why are you coming yeah. with this bar now? Yeah. What difference does that shit make? And if dude is your folk, then why did you say it? Yeah. Everybody coming, they kind of And then his rebuttal, like, his follow-up and shit on IG, he been making all these, uh, like, stories talking about hip-hop's too soft now. Is hip-hop still soft? I'm going in the studio. Like, he'll wake up every day and say, is hip-hop still soft? Y'all niggas still being soft? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you though. That's making me want her the album. I mean, I'm 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 a game fan. He's he's in my top five. Easy. Game's always been like super consistent with his music. Yeah, he's definitely like one of my favorite rappers of all time. But yeah, I just hate when he does shit like this. Nigga on uh, in the comments called that nigga a clout demon. That shit was funny (laughs) as fuck. But he's always been like that though. Every now and then he'll drop some shit. And and that's the thing with this, bro. I feel like he's just doing that shit to. To get people talking, like this is like his rollout. That's type. 2019 for you. That's true. But that's I mean, it trash. is. Though, like, I'm saying like, it can be like, trash, like, but let's admit it though. Bro, that's that's game, how this shit works. Game has been here since 05, bro. Yeah. His first album came out in 05, so it's like. But that's how this shit why works you, now. Why man. do you got to do this monkey shit people, to try to move an album? People bro? know that's what's going. The people what's going. Look, what? We sitting here talking about it. We talk. Yeah. We so talking we about we it. talking about it. So what are people going to do? They're going to want to hear the rest of the song. Then they they might want to hear the rest of the music. I mean, he like, did smoke that song. That's all what I'm saying. Clips, like all the, the clips, that the clips posted. been fired. So For it's kind of just like, I mean, shit. We talking about them. So that I feel like that's the whole point of throwing that shit out there. Yeah. Like that. Like we was just talking about reeling them in. Like fuck it. Yeah. But I won't be surprised if he name drops another because you know my nigga game is the name drop king. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he name drop another Kardashian. On another song on the album, um, he's probably named. That's just what just... that. That's that's what that nigga do. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you know, back to nah. that song with him. Yeah, with him and I Kanye. I, I, I'm not feeling that. Sure. I'm not feeling that, especially like when he got the bar that you know I posted on my story a, a few days ago, where he's talking about uh, what he say something about Kim K Kanye with Kim now do something disrespect them and I smoke you nigga or whatever yeah, he said. Yeah. Yeah, like, but like I said, though, it's, the, but the cool you, but thing then he is disrespect, to then he disrespects Kanye, and that's supposed to be his man's. Like, that's the cool thing to do right now. No, it is. It, it is. It is. It's to get Kanye's on Kanye. easily. Uh, he's probably easy one of the target. easiest targets right now. Yeah, in hip hop. But I really feel like Game still feels like Kanye's his man's though. Like, <laughs> no, nah, after that I, bar, I, you can't feel like that. No, like, yeah, no, after that. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I get I'm what you're saying. saying I like, I feel like Game is just because he still be wearing Yeezys and everything. He be posting up in Yeezys and shit. He's a clown. Man. That's why I was mad when I'm like, come on, bro. Like, nigga, you literally taking these workout <laughs> pictures in V2s and shit. <laughs> Nigga's a clown, man. That's, but I'm man. saying I, feel, I really feel like like game is just like, yeah, Kanye's still the homie. You know, I can say this shit and get away with it because that's my homie. It's like. Nah, you don't see what Drake's yeah. going through right that's now. That's how you see for this nigga. Kiki for following us. You see this nigga, <laughs> you see this nigga spazzing over um, fucking he, Nick Cannon and, he and no whoever spaz else. He game like that, though. No, he not. Yeah, that's trash. Yeah, he ain't gonna come in game like he's coming at Nick Cannon. I just, I just want, I just want niggas to keep fucking with him, and then he put a classic out on y'all niggas. That's what Who? I want. Kanye. Kanye got one more shot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Yandy's trash, get him out of here. Virgil, bro. Virgil said Yandy's amazing. Yeah, that's Virgil. Yeah, I expect Virgil, him to say that man. shit. Yeah, I mean, that's his right. Shit, Drake said Virgil wasn't his man. Who Drake? Said, now you listening to what Drake says? I'm just saying that's what that's what Josh Boy so, said. So by the way, Virgil made it. The album's done. Hmm? The album's Yandy. done. Yandy. He said everything he's heard oh, has, okay. been, has, uh, has been unbelievable. He said it was incredible. He said the sound is supposedly. Yeah, when they start going into it, that yeah. shit's probably trash. Yeah. Yeah. Supposedly it's some uh, different. It got some kind of different sound or some shit. Yeah, I remember when uh, Dame Dash said he been uh, hanging with Dame a lot too, uh, which is kind of when when Dame Dash said "Pray for Rain," Jim Jones' album "Pray for Rain" was going to be uh, uh, his reasonable doubt. Wait, a, wait a minute! <laughs> I bought that album. "Pray for Rain" was. I actually heard "Pray for Rain." "Pray for dope. Rain" is trash. I, I actually yeah, heard it was no, dope. Yeah, no, right. it's trash. I, 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 I got I, nigga, that nigga, you wear a Dipset beanie every day. Man, I got that <laughs> you on can't, CD. You, you can not about to come in here and say no. Nah, "Purple Rain" was dope, bro. No, nigga, you like everything Dipset do. This nigga got a dip set tattooed on his shin. Yeah, fuck with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So fuck with me. The Pray for Rain was not trash. I'm not even going to sit up and let <laughs> nah, you talk I mean, I heard that it, shit. I mean, one of my homies that do like Jim Jones said it was good, though. I mean, right, he, do, he is a Jim Jones fan, pray but I haven't, I haven't heard it. Come on, man. Is it? Does it have a song on there called "Pray for Rain"? Pray for Rain singing? was a fire Wait, fucking song. That's the song yeah. I heard. That was dope. That, was that song chick, is fire. With the chick now, singing. Now, okay. Now, okay. So I'm telling you, th- that song was fire. <laughs> or he got more that than that. That album was trash. 
Yeah, more than it that. It was trash. Y'all got, y'all got anything else left to say to the game? Besides, nah, I, I just want to hear disrespectful. Yeah, just mind. drop the music, nigga. Don't try to make headlines and shit, bro. You know, That's you, trash. You, you, nigga, all my niggas that know me know I love game, but this nigga be on, he be on some bullshit sometimes. But sure. his whole career he's been like that, though. Every now and then he just does he some do. shit where it's just kind of like, like, come on, man, what are you doing? He do. I know his album is going to be fire. I hope so, man. He don't have a trash album like mm-hmm. Burn over there looking. So. Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. Do you think he does? You heard 1992? Yeah. I think I might bang the whole summertime. Sometime. Yeah, that's it's not, my it's shit. It's not on 1992, though. Okay. That's, well, on, that's, do- that's on documentary. That's on too. documentary. Documentary. Too. I knew it was a two yeah, something. Go, go listen to 1992. Documentary nah, two was flames. Nigga, go listen to 1992. Nigga. For what? It's fire, though. It's, it's fire. Okay. cold, bro. Okay. That's what, what I'm saying, bro. Niggas what, be trying to. Bro, you got to listen to Kodak. You gotta yeah. listen to this Kodak, but bro. I'm saying and then though, you listen to it and what? I'm saying though, my man's but talk, I'm telling he you talks the 1992 is cold. All right, he talks all this shit about music, and you done suggested Kodak and Famous Dex. I didn't but, suggest Famous Dex. I said yeah. Japan was cold. Nah, bro. We just talking about Famous Dex, and you trying to tell me he's nice? Nah, I don't just remember, remember that you saying that song was. The, <laughs> I don't yeah, remember he that. Said he was, Drake took a bar from. He me. said he was a Dex fan, man. What, what, what? What's currently on your playlist right now? Like, what, what are you listening to right now? All right, some R and B. Okay, that's that's what you prefer to listen to more. I just listen. I don't know R and B and shit from '09, pretty much. Oh, Is this a music podcast? That's how you prefer to talk about AD. Yeah, let's talk about AD, man. Get, and get Kyrie and LeBron and, and the Clay and Clay, pl- possibly. They ain't pulling that shit out. Well, they about to end up with Mellow, and that's it, man. This is this is this is when <laughs> the verified it. checks do the do the Photoshop where they put the jersey yeah, on everybody. You know, everybody last year, hype and last then year, the we're gonna uh, see Mellow and LeBron. Yeah, last year they had Katie, Paul George, and Westbrook, Anthony, and yeah, all kind of niggas in Lakers jerseys, all star lineup. Yeah. and then they ended up with Kuzma. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kuz was nice though, dog. Bro, that's terrible. <laughs> that's a nasty picture. Yeah, Kuz was nice. I mean, Kuz was good as gone too. Yeah, but they all out of there. You know, I'd rather see. I'd rather see AD end up at Boston. Damn, I just this tweet just came out. The New Orleans Pelicans remove Anthony Davis from the end of the intro video where it shows the entire team before <laughs> well, the game. Yeah, I mean, the yeah, nigga don't want to play. Yeah, he, if somebody don't want to play, he's out of there, man. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna play. He's gonna say he's hurt until he's yeah, traded. Get him out. Shit, Kawhi did it. Eric Gordon did it. That was funny when Eric Gordon did. That nigga was pissed when he had to hold up that Hornets jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for everybody who don't know all the drama going on in the NBA right now, trade deadlines next Thursday, and AD requested a trade Anthony on Davis. Monday. Yeah, Anthony Davis, the brow. The unibrow, he uh, demanded a trade on Monday, and he's trying to force his way to L.A. to join the king, LeBron James. But so he's came out and said, though, that he's trying to get to L.A., or he just nah, said he wanted a trade. They're saying that. They or he? His people. His Rich, Paul. Rich, Rich Paul. Rich Paul. Rich Paul, which is, which is LeBron's homie. Which is this? This is so that's nasty. Why LeBron's under this is so nasty. LeBron's under yeah, investigation. Yeah, so like a lot of the executives in the NBA hate. Rich Paul and LeBron, because they view them as, as like some mob bosses. <laughs> because guys. LeBron is a player, but he also has an agency, which yeah. is ran by Rich Paul, which is called Clutch Sports, yeah. which is who Anthony Davis just signed with in back in July or August. Yeah. yeah, and everybody pretty much like all the executives in the NBA said, okay, he's going to go to the Lakers. Yeah, because he just signed with LeBron's people. That shit is nasty. And then they try to extend him. They offered him two hundred and forty million, I think. Yeah. And Anthony Davis pushed that shit right back across the table <laughs> yeah. and said, "Y'all can he keep said, that." Nah, you smooth. So pretty much, it's funny. Brian Winhorse put up a tweet. Dude got fined fifty thousand for tampering. Yeah. Anthony Davis. Yeah. But dude turned down eighty million. He's about to lose eighty million leaving the uh, the Pelicans. Yeah. He's leaving eighty million on the table to go to L.A. And Byron Davis said, nigga, you can cut my check in half. He said, nigga, I'd much rather play in L.A. than New Orleans. <laughs> LA than New Orleans. Yeah. I said, damn. Yeah. And I think I think, dude, well, no, nah, he, he never played for the Lakers. Byron Davis? He's from L.A., though. Yeah, Byron yeah, Davis he's from, is from LA, L.A., but he did play for, I think he. Played for the Clippers? No, nah, I think he did play for New Orleans. No, he played he for played Charlotte. He played for New Orleans. No, he played for the Hornets, yeah. I don't know It was know in where. Charlotte, I think, yeah, still. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when they was in New Orleans, they had Chris Paul. That nigga had been gone. Yeah. 
Yeah, so yeah, dude was like, I would pay play for half the money to play in LA to New Orleans. <laughs> God bless. Yeah, yeah so pretty much like, yeah, LeBron and them, it's like they own the league for real. Like them niggas really are like some mob bosses of the league with this yeah. shit they be doing. You think they're gonna get away with it? <laughs> Nah, yeah. I mean, I mean, not, if, I mean, they got to pay the fifty k, but even is if AD they don't, go? even if they don't um, get AD this summer, they can still sign somebody. They can sign a Clay. They can sign Kawhi. They can sign Kyrie. Yeah, I really want them, and you know, I'm a LeBron fan, turn Laker fan, so I really want them to get AD for sure. Because I feel like once they get AD, it's gonna be a whole bunch of dominoes to fall, and these niggas is gonna be nasty. Like they're gonna have a team next year, possibly of AD. LeBron and Clay or A D LeBron and Kyrie. That three right there is filthy. It's, it's nasty if you could keep Anthony Davis. I'd rather have Clay over Kyrie just cause dude the nigga can drop forty. The nigga dropped forty last week mm-hmm. and only took ten dribbles. Yeah, he don't need to he don't need to have the ball in his Nigga's hands a sniper. Score. Yeah, he don't need to have the ball in his hands for I think uh I think that I would rather have Kyrie than Clay, but I don't know. I don't know. I ain't really thought that much through because you know I just know this shit's gonna fall through. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, like they, it's, so what? It's not gonna happen. They gonna end up with they gonna Mello, get one of them, and that's one it. of the three. No, like like well, they'll not, get Anthony Davis what was, or Kyrie. What was, or Clay. Um, what was Kyrie's reasoning? I just I remember uh, not too Kyrie, long ago Kyrie. he came out and said he called LeBron for advice. No, he called LeBron to apologize. No, yeah, and advice. Yeah, I'm saying, oh, well, yeah, yeah it, was, it was a little bit of both. And then I'm just now seeing a report saying that he wants to reunite with him. Yeah. So he wants out of Boston, or I mean, he just wants thought, to play with LeBron. Nobody thought he was re-signing with Boston, no way. Okay. A lot, a lot, I mean, a pretty, Nigga a lot. just said that he was going to in September. He also, yeah, said, that's what, he also said he was never going to leave Cleveland, too. He told that to a little kid. Mm, well, a little kid. Kid be all right. Yeah, kid, yeah, kid be all right, bro. Yeah, got a long KD, life. KD also yeah. said he was never leaving OKC. Where's These he hoes at? ain't loyal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 like, I prefer, like I said, I prefer Clay. Dude's a sniper. Kyrie is nasty, though. Do you really want Anthony Davis, who can't seem to stay healthy? Yeah. I think, what's the, what, I think what that he do? won't have to do as That's much. A lot of he, won't, he wouldn't have to do as much on, on you know, with another with a LeBron and and a Clay or Kyrie think, or whatever. You think him having to? You think him having to do a lot is what gets him hurt? In New Orleans? Probably, yeah. I don't think so, though. I don't, I don't think that's what it is, though. I think it's just he's just fucking big and gets hurt all the damn time. Not bigs, big. bigs get hurt. Niggas fall and they don't get back up. DeMarcus Cousins, nigga Shaq had toe and foot problems his whole career. Nigga uh, Dwight Howard, nigga's shoulders are fucked up. Mm-hmm. Niggas... <laughs> Back and shit is fucked up, nigga. They nigga, big yeah. niggas stay hurt. Nigga, the white was getting ran through on his <laughs> nigga. The white's back was hurting for a whole <laughs> different reason. Yeah, it had nothing the to do white with was sports. getting his back blown up. <laughs> 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 nigga was getting his mind blown. <laughs> nasty, nasty. The white <laughs> episode zero. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh damn! But yeah, man, but, I, I I feel like that's gonna be. Bro, I, I really hope this shit happens, dog. They done removed this nigga from the please trading. Yeah, I mean he's out please of there. Most but what do you do if you New Orleans, though? That's if, my whole thing. Do you want do you want a crazy package for him, or do you just blow up your team and just start from the bottom? Nah, you definitely get. If it was me, try to trade him. They just somebody just tweeted that Boston called him. They said Woj said on ESPN that Boston called New Orleans and and told him to wait till the summer. Everybody's on the table except. <laughs> <laughs> Say everybody's on the table is or everything is on the table except Kyrie. Mm. And Kyrie's about to leave, so <laughs> yeah. what y'all gonna do? Y'all might as well put him on the on, table. And then on top of that, they said that AD is gonna say wherever he goes, I'm a rental. Y'all not keeping me. I'm going God to LA because he's a free agent in 2020. I saw where he said that he's he's open to New York. AD is the Knicks. Yeah, yeah. he's open to the. He's I open doubt, playing. I doubt the, he the wants Knicks. to play for Dolan, but. He might. KD come. That's nuts. That's nuts, man. I think you think KD and AD. You think that's a nice duo. I don't think AD and anybody's a nice duo, <laughs> dog. Damn. I, yeah, I just uh, the nigga can't stay. He can't stay. He can't play a full season. He gonna give you a good solid 38, 40 games. Fam, he don't. He be having to do too much, bro. Okay. I mean, 
Nigga got to block shots. Nigga's man get by him. He got to run to the basket to try to change the nigga's shot. <laughs> These niggas out there playing one on five? Basically. Yeah. <laughs> niggas, is, niggas is the second to, or third to worst team in the West. They third to last in the West. Yeah. I, yeah. Either third to last today. or second to last. I think they 13th in the conference. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. So, and they yeah. got AD. And you know dude's having a historic season right now? Yeah, I mean, the nigga's a great player when he's when he's on the court. Nigga's great. That's trash too, though. Like, okay, he's having a historic season and they losing, and that's why I just be telling niggas, bro. I be arguing like LeBron is that man, bro. Why? Right, because he have historic seasons and be winning. Yes. Yeah, yeah. LeBron is definitely that. See what happened when he got hurt. The Lakers took four Rockets. trash cans to the finals last year. Yeah, bro. and niggas about to take the trash cans he's with now to the playoffs. And nigga, and nigga got hurt. Like what yeah, Ryan was about to say. As soon as he went down, you seen how that record switched. They was fourth in the West. Yeah. Now what are they? Yeah, shit. They out of five hundred. Yeah, yeah, they out of right now. So. Yeah. And LeBron ain't playing tomorrow. Tonight. Is it tonight? Uh, tomorrow. I think it's Thursday. Then they play the Clippers tomorrow. Is that tonight? I think it, I, I thought they I saw the, it. They was, played the Sixers last night. Just watch night. when he comes back how that record shifts. No, nah, it'll shift, but they got the third hardest schedule in the league remaining. Yeah, I, they, they're going to they make got, the playoffs, They got the though. Clippers tomorrow night. They got Golden State Saturday. And then they got uh, the Pacers, and then they play the Celtics. Like, nigga, they got they schedule ain't no, yeah, ain't no yeah, bitch, it's bro. It's not a slouch. Yeah. I yeah, don't know. So. I, don't, I don't think Anthony Davis is the – is the player that LeBron needs in LA to to really turn the tide there? I'm just not sold on Clay and LeBron would be nasty. How y'all feel Clay about and LeBron would be nasty? How y'all feel about the tampering shit? The tampering? Yeah, I don't. Like, you really... see where LeBron LeBron's being investigated for tampering now? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, well, it's it's obvious. I actually like I tweeted like an hour after I saw the shit that you know I'm like, is this legal? Rich Paul can say Anthony Davis wants to trade and then go over to to LA and say. Oh, the Lakers are interested. Like that, it, it does look really fishy. You know, from had, somebody had, with no knowledge of the tampering rules. They had, they all had dinner. So like what is the two weeks ago? Rule, That's what, what is crazy. the tampering rule for the like, people? Tampering is like what they doing. Like, no, tam- I'm just saying though, for the people who might not know, because well, like I well, get we're not what, gonna sound. Yeah, I don't know the gonna, rule okay, book or nothing, the, but it's like definition. you can't do the shit that they doing. Like you can't I, be trying to recruit K. Uh, like like. Draymond was tampering. He was tampering with KD because he he came out and said that he was calling KD all yeah. the time while he was on OKC. So if yeah. you're a player, you can't recruit. Not just a yeah. player. Magic Johnson got fined for tampering yeah. with Magic, Giannis. If you're an owner, yeah, yeah. Anything. I'm just I'm just trying to give some yeah. insight out yeah. there for so, who might be confused. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. no, nah, yeah. You can't like because I'm saying it, though because like from the, the outside season? people can be like, well, why can't he say he wants to play with him or why can't he convince him to come and play? But it's you illegal. You can you can like Kawhi you can come out last year and say I want to trade, but I don't think that you can come out and say I want to trade to the Lakers. No, you can. You, you can. can. Paul George. Then what's, the, what's, the, what's the, because this is what I'm confused on. The tampering fine, in my opinion, should have went to Rich Paul, but yeah, instead Anthony it, Davis got it. Anthony Davis is represented by him. It don't matter. I, I don't like understand the, why the he, Rich Paul is not a player. So Rich, they can't, so they Rich, can't, they can't Rich, find Rich Paul. Rich Paul don't work for them. See, this is where shit gets confusing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm because he says he wants to get traded more. to a, a certain team. Well, no, he, you're supposed to inform the team. The team found out from him on TV. That nigga called in to ESPN or wherever. And you know said, what's trash about that though? The teams can do this shit. They can do whatever they can they want. do. They can they do this can shit trade and you without no you trouble. knowing. Owners, yeah, like, owners, they can the do whatever owners. they want. How so foul like, is that when people be like, I found that I got traded on Twitter? Yeah, you know Darren what I mean? Williams, like, Darren yeah, Williams like, that shit is, out. He got traded from Utah trash, trash, bro. Bro. Yeah, on, on, on the t- ESPN on, ticker. He said he Twitter, seen bro. the ticker, and yeah. that's how he found that he got traded. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas. Same Isaiah way. Thomas. Yeah. Uh, they told him they weren't going to trade him, and then traded him. And dude was looking for a, a max contract yeah. or something, wasn't he? Dude that's making, fucked Dude's up. on your squad making like 1.8. Man, dog. He was on the verge of 100 million. But he fucked up. He fucked his own self up. He came back too early. From his injury. From yeah. an injury, trying yeah. to help the Celtics win yeah. in the playoffs. Then they traded his ass. Yeah. I know, dude. Look, dog. Nigga, we coasting in the West, nigga. Second in the West. If I was him, I would just keep on sitting on that damn bench, dog. No, I'm not healed yet. I ain't ready. Because I'd I be damned if I come out there and fuck up another team, nigga. And next, next thing you know, nigga, you just ain't got no fucking job. Yeah, he's going to be coming off the bench for sure, ain't he? Oh yeah, yeah. He's coming off the bench, nigga. Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, <laughs> niggas is like niggas up on a nightly. <laughs> I'll be joking on you, but I used to low key be a Denver fan when they had Wilson Chandler. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to fuck with Denver Abbey. Yeah, 
There was the squad, dog. You yeah, watch out, right. We about yeah. to be in Western Conference Finals. Not, yeah, they was all right. I, I just be giving you shit about them. Not I used if, to, I used not to like the Lakers get AD. Lakers about to get AD and a whole bunch of old niggas. They got old. <laughs> Why does LeBron? Hey, LeBron's a GM. That nigga's the worst GM in my opinion. Hell, bro. nigga, look at those teams he be putting together. But on he the fly. goes to the playoffs bro, he likes, and the finals. He so likes, does it matter? He, he can put any. No, that's the thing. It don't matter. When the nigga blew up the Cleveland team and traded everybody out, and brought George Hill and him in. That nigga was still gonna go to the finals that year, no matter who he got. But he it's, likes playing with vets, though. You ain't watch. You gotta watch. I, I, I see it. You gotta watch right. the the shop show. Right nigga now, likes playing with nigga likes kids. playing with niggas that's smart. Yeah, I see it. Don't. Like and niggas that's been around. Like Jr. He's a vet, but he's Bruh, stupid. Leave Melo. Yeah. Leave Melo away. Nah, bring this Mello nigga away. Michael Beasley checked in with practice shorts. Bro, on, why was that the funniest <laughs> shit ever? Like, Are we talking even, about that? See that, bro. Yeah, bro, see he it? had on black practice shorts, and then they say something, and he looks down like, "Damn, these are practice shorts." So where was his real shorts? In the locker, nigga, in the locker room. room. He had to go to the lot. They got the camera from him running to the locker room and him running back with new shorts on. They didn't even have black jerseys you, on. You know, dude, be high, bro. Dude, but still, I told, bro, I, they I didn't even saying. have black jerseys on for you to be that confused. He got on a yellow jersey with black with shorts. black shorts, <laughs> and he's literally I seen on the, the sideline checking at in. the table, but I ain't see the the actual. Bro, video. they got the cam of him running. To to the dressing room to That's what I shorts. said You know JR made a big fuck up Back in the finals Dog last season But this nigga LeBron goes and plays With JaVale McGee Lance Stevenson And Michael Beasley Bro, He That's got three, three JR, JR Smiths yeah. They wasn't on the team though When he signed they came on after. They, yeah. He has something to do I feel with like, that. Thing. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's that. LeBron's GM. And die. nah, nah, you think he's selling magic with the dude? To hey, I'm gonna come, has, I'm come to LA. Input. Get Javale. Get Lance. Nah, you don't. Just, you don't think. Him, they you don't think. Yeah, you don't think they run some LeBron's spot like yeah. He definitely got. I think he got some pull. Javale was playing good before he got hurt. Dude's leading the league in blocks. But dude's just a clown. He's he's okay. He's just a clown. Yeah, he's always goofy. He's grown up. He's the Shaq and the Fool MVP. I like Lance, but he's goofy. I love Rondo. Rondo's perfect for LeBron. That's crazy. LeBron got out of the place. Well, so explain that to me. Not not that I disagree. I'm just trying to figure out how Rondo's perfect for LeBron. He just he's smart. He's like LeBron smart. likes smart players, bro. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking about like style of play wise. No, nah, no, nah, he can't Rondo's shoot not. like yeah. But he he can. LeBron needs somebody. He can, t- he can, he can tell can, LeBron. When he he can, drive. He kicks it out. Yeah. He kick it well, out. See, so Rondo's well, nah, gonna see, hit the side of the rim. Rondo actually has been shooting like 39 percent this year. 38. That's good. It's a good three point percent. Could Steph and them shoot 43, 44. So it's not bad. Yeah. Um, not bad. Damn, bro, you made me lose my thought. You was talking about how he likes playing with smart players? Yeah, yeah. Rondo's a smart, so you know, he'll tell LeBron, like he'd be telling LeBron where to be and shit. Yeah. And LeBron yeah. likes that. Like he likes smart players. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna see what happens with them next next Thursday. Hopefully, no. AD. Is yeah. on the Lakers. Uh, AD uh, can New, be, New but there's there's not going to be no Clay or Kyrie before not next to the week. Not to no, the no, yeah, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. For free agents, who might be free agents in the that. summer. Yeah, that's yeah. summertime. Right now, it's only AD. What else y'all want to talk about, bro? Do you see where DMX uh, said that uh, these new rappers are promoting drug use too much? Ah, uh, for real? You said that? Yeah. He yeah. never really rapped about He didn't drugs, rap about drugs. He's been on them, but he, he never rapped them. about them, though. So I, I I feel where he's coming from with that. He's I, I, Yeah. And and max. and it's and of somebody who's actually lived this shit, he should definitely yeah. say it. I ran up on DMX the, and Jeff Simone asked for a picture one day. Dudes in Charlotte Roos fan for everybody's shit. Charlotte Roos. Oh, yeah. That's out, out of all places. I think he told that story before. I might have told it yeah, on the yeah. podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. one, 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 his hand on his one, thing y'all, one thing y'all learn about me is I tell the same stories a whole lot. I'd be forgetting. <laughs> Man, we should have checked this nigga's application before. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. But no, nah, DMX should be, I feel like some, a, a living example is great. And it's a great time to say, who's what's the little rapper that died? We already had we Lil lost Peep, Mac. Peep. Lil Peep. Lil Peep died of drug some drug shit, right? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, what I love that I love that the that that the rappers are coming out and, and denouncing that shit after bigging it up. I mean you had who, that you, who I think it's too who Future? Future. Uh Future didn't really deny. A lot of a lot of them niggas said uh, that they was Gucci. Uh Mozzie. But Gucci was locked up for years, though. That should have make you when quit. Gucci, when Gucci <laughs> came out, that he said that he cut, he couldn't function. You know, well, he was doing, he was doing drugs. He was on the what's that ESPN show that got the the old dude sitting in between? Uh, uh yeah, with Poppy or whatever. Bom, Bomani yeah. Jones and the yeah. other dude. 
he was on there and he was talking about, you know, how, you know, when he was drinking lean, he drank lean every day. He had he like like three times a day. And, you know, once he quit it, he saw the difference in his body. I think it's, he, he saw the difference in the way he, his voice sounded and all that kind of shit. Like he said, he was sounding real nasally and shit all the time. He cut, he cut that shit out, changed everything about himself. You know what I'm saying? But he got locked up for three years. He had no choice. <laughs> Pretty much. I why, think it's kind of too late. I don't for understand why. Like, like, so the nigga comes out. He gets he he gets his health Bro, together. But the nigga's riding he can't, bikes but he can't, and shit. But he can't take the nigga it the takes same, his and nigga changed his entire lifestyle, and 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 denounced the drug. So I don't. What, what do you mean he he was locked up? Yeah, he was locked up. And he, he was couldn't forced be on to it. quit. He's saying he, he was forced, forced to quit. quit. You saying the but, he's, but I'm saying out. that he's denouncing. That's why he's it. denouncing and we're talking it. About the rappers that okay, that yeah. But what he's saying is he's only denouncing it because he didn't have no choice but to quit. But no, then then he denounced it. Is he denouncing it? How many times did the nigga get locked up? How many times did that nigga get locked up over the past ten years? The, lot, every time you looked up, that nigga was going time, to jail. Though. Yeah, he got locked up a lot. And 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 how, okay, so within those how many uh, within those times, how many times did he come out still doing the same shit? The bro, niggas but he had never, a gut he all the way up he, to the last what two three years. Bro, ago. He got he did like three years though. The nigga was getting that. You think he just did those three years and nothing else in between? Then, bro, he was doing three years. But what? How like long does it take the, you to murder charge? Bid, wasn't that like the murder yeah. charge or whatever he had? He, I, what I he's saying is he that, wasn't. That was the longest that bid. Long. Like the if you go to jail I'm, for four or five months, you yeah okay. You get the out point that I'm shit. trying to make though is the nigga could have he could have easily came out and got back on the shit. He's addicted oh. to it. So do you? But you're not. He did it at one point in time. He did it by choice. But to do three or four years, you're not addicted. You at one point that he he did it by choice, and the niggas been in and out of jail for years. Like I, uh, we bro, don't have time. He just to, did his probably his longest stint. That's well, what what, I'm so, but I don't understand why like he comes out and he, the nigga changes his entire fucking body style and denounces the drug. Like is he denouncing? You, why, it or why are you, you just get, saying he's not he doing de- it? He's denouncing it. Watch the fucking interview that so I'm talking about. So is he telling about. people don't do it? Yes, okay. that's yes. What, I think that's he what cha- he's saying that. he's saying that he can see the change in himself after he quit it. Okay, so I think, so do you think that's working? What? Like him coming out and saying that, do you think that's enough to really make it's an a impact slow, in it's music? It's a slow burn. Okay. It's a slow burn. Because if, like if to, we get to a point to, if we get to a point to where this shit ain't cool no more at all, you know, then, then the kids ain't growing up trying and like, looking for it. You say Future denounced it. He did it in the interview, but in the album, he's, he's still talking about it, though. Future so. didn't denounce it. Future that's what I'm just saying. He just but he, he, but he came out and said that he quit it, though. So okay. that's the thing. We just talked about this before. Kids are impressionable. Yeah. Kids are impressionable. They want to do what the what, what they see everybody else doing. Yeah. So if the if somebody see Kanye with a pair of you know exclusive fucking Yeezys or something on, they gonna want the Yeezys. If somebody you know see uh, Future. Uh, uh, drinking lean, they gonna want to drink lean. You know what I'm saying? So, if the niggas come out and say they don't do it, the kids are impressionable. They not gonna want to fuck with it now, right? Well, this there's there's a wave now that's just addicted to it, and probably ain't nothing they can fucking do about it because they addicted. Yeah, with all the challenges or whatnot going on, Mozzie came out with a kick the cup challenge, just basically trying to get everybody off the lean, trying yeah. to leave that shit alone. That's shit that I fuck with. Yeah, that's cool though. That was a cool movement. That, I feel like uh, it comes it, it comes much better. That message comes much better from somebody who lived this shit than somebody who's just, you know. Somebody who people and actually look at and want to yeah. imitate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't th- I don't see the, I know DMX was, you know, he was, he was on a lot of shit, but he never mentioned none of it in his music. Yeah, he never, he never was on the drug shit, man. Yeah. Like far as talking about it in the music, he was on the drugs, but he wasn't like rapping about that shit. Right. So I, 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 I fuck with that message. I like it. I yeah. mean, if you, if you really trying and you really spreading positivity, how can you hate that though? Like. No, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like nobody could really hate on him for that. Steak. I'm not. I never hated, bro. What are you? No, I ain't saying you did, <laughs> nigga. I'm just saying give some input, nigga. But no, it's like I mean, though. Yeah, that's that's cool. DMX did it. I just want DMX to stay stay out of trouble, bro. Yeah, that like, dude really is one of the goats. But the nigga like he's just forgotten about because he's not around. He's always locked up. He's in trouble or some shit. So I just want him to, you know, stay clean and, and stay out of trouble, man. I seen a clip of him performing. Was that yeah, like that, that was just like I mean, it had to be within the over the weekend. What he look like? How he sound? I, I didn't. I didn't hear the. Yeah, uh, I was listening to it so before we the, got started. He he was rapping. He's doing his thing. He sounds pretty right. good. Like, yeah, he sound yeah. Healthy. Yeah, he was yeah, on, yeah. No, no, no. He, did he you listen healthy. to him on Drink Champs? No. Nope. Oh my god, that, he sounded sound awful. He sounded awful. When was this? Like his interview? voice is high pitched. This is probably like two years. Two okay, years. Oh, so this is before he went. Three in, years before ago, he went in. This I, is twenty sixteen. Okay, right. yeah, he sounded horrible. 
Yeah, so, he did. He he was. I, I I do remember that period. I haven't watched this specific interview. I listened to it, but I, I know do. he looked he looked bad at one point too. Yeah, I think before he went in just this time. Yeah, yeah. But I but yeah, I I think the the message needs to come from the former user though. I think I feel it like means more. I like, like, yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't think these kids care about DMX though. No, kids they don't, don't care about they DMX. Don't, they don't. But he's but but him saying that you know the promoting drug shit is not cool in rap. Maybe the kids don't. But maybe a rapper that that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. One of the somebody who's looking up to him that's making music might get mm-hmm. with him. I might try to put that same message out because these kids are not taking advice from DMX in 2019. Wow. The rappers may not be either. Yeah. But even still, you it's still you it's still know important. Either. You know that that, that, that the word that is message out, out there. Yeah. You don't know who's gonna. Oh yeah, definitely put it out there because that shit's destroying people, bro. Yeah, it definitely is. Like took Mac out of here. Yeah, man. He was on what fit and all. They said they they found that was fit and little people. So that's what little people. He, he did a. They he, found a whole bunch of shit in Mac Miller. Didn't and, and Mac shit. He had a he had a bad. It was it was some kind of mixture that you wasn't supposed to do. So he he did. So it was I think I think it was that what you were saying. Fent- fentanyl. And fent- then it was uh, alcohol and cocaine or something like that. Yeah. Like it was like a bad just a mix. Yeah. That, that fucked him up. Went to sleep. Didn't wake up. That's you know just sad, man. Yeah, it's very sad, dude. Twenty six. And that's the thing, like it's just taking it's taking these kids out early. It's all that shit to cover something up though, like the whole drug use thing, just why they get on that shit in general. Shit, Yams, he overdosed too, didn't he? Yeah. ASAP yeah. Yams? Yeah. Same shit. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, ASAP Yams, rest in peace, Mac. Pimp C, man. It's a whole lot of that drug shit is sad, man. Well, Pimp C didn't die, he just died. No. Didn't he? No, it was, was overdose. It was he overdosed? Like, yeah. He OD? Damn, I that never knew that. Related. I thought that nigga like yeah. had a heart attack in the sleep when or something. That's when Wayne came out talking about the lean after that. And he's he still said, doing you know that me yeah, and my drink song, it. he's like, everyone's against me ever since the death of Pimp C. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, so. yeah, he started talking about that afterwards. I know they said it had something to do with lean, but I didn't think, I don't think Pimp was drinking lean when he died. I think he... has some conspiracies about Pimp's death, but <sighs> I'm not going to get into that. This man, like, his conspiracies. My yeah, life bro. is a big conspiracy theory, man. It's, I can't lie. Yikes. What, else, what, what else you got, Vern? You got anything else? Nah, bad nah, boys. Nah. Bad you boys. Talk about story. Bad, bad I, I don't. I seen a clip. I seen where the first image came out. What do y'all think about? What do y'all think about continuing? Like, I don't get excited for like Fuller s- series, for, like Fuller House. Yeah, um, Bad Boys Three. Yeah, wouldn't it? They just confirmed Rush didn't Hour Boy, Four. Boy Meets World. Oh, they coming like out with a, Rush Hour Four. Didn't mm-hmm. they get like a grown up Chris Tucker, mm-hmm. bro? Girl Meets World. Yeah, Japan then they doing like Boy, Bad Boy. Do people get ex- like? Do you want to see that shit? I don't get. But it. you I ever notice how this nigga Chris Tucker disappeared for like five years after a Rush Hour? Then when he get broke, he pop up again for the IRS be on his ass <laughs> for the new Rush Hour. <laughs> Has yeah. there been a reboot or something that you got excited over? Like they a brought reboot? something back? Not like any show or um, movie. I'm excited about this Breaking Bad movie. You I, are? Never, I, never, I didn't get into. Breaking I'm not Bad. excited about a Breaking Bad movie, dog. I feel like I feel like I don't you think just that's don't the touch. same. Some shit you just don't. But touch. I don't think that's the same type. I don't of know situation, how you though. Can, that yeah. shit was fire. I don't know yeah. how you. I mean, I just and they said Cranston and uh, Aaron they Paul. They both in it. So, so what like, is it? Wanna... So so here's so here's how you do a Breaking Bad movie correctly if you're gonna do one. In my opinion, just tell that same story again, just in movie form. But I mean, don't I, do no before they, shit. They, don't do no after. Have they shit. said some plot shit? Well, they already got the before shit. The before With shit's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you watch that? Yeah, I watch Better Call Saul. I need to catch up, bro. I'm like two, three seasons behind on I that think shit. I'm, I think I'm a season behind, but I don't. Yeah. I don't have cable, so I just watch. Don't Netflix when it comes, when it comes out. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that I, I need to watch it, bro. It's it, it's pretty. Fire, it was dope. Bro. The first two seasons was dope. This is for sure. Yeah. So I don't think, but I think that's the only way to. Touch Breaking Bad. Other than that, leave it alone. That shit was. I was wondering perfect. if they're gonna just continue it because you know um, Aaron Paul got away. He got away, yeah. So, Jesse Jesse yeah, Pinkman. To the people that ain't watched it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that, this is like a different type of situation. Though when did Breaking Bad end? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad mm. ended in like 2011, maybe. Uh, it was a, it was a grip of golf. Probably okay. 13. 12, 13. I say yeah. about 13. That's what I did somewhat bring say, it back. I'm gonna say twelve. You gonna say twelve? Look it up, bro. Fact, oh, fact, fine. fact check. Yeah, but it's like with the bad boys. Stuff, I don't. I personally will. I watch it if it hits Netflix or something. But I'm not going to the movies to watch that shit. Like I don't really get excited for a lot of that. I don't know. It's, I can't think of anything that they brought back that I was just like I got to see that. Uh, I'll probably be excited for bad boys. You would. You really? Have you seen Martin lately? 
Yeah, but he look, niggas, nigga, niggas, he looked fat as fuck. And then 2012, in that, by the way. Uh, oh, he, in, that, in, that, uh, in, that, in that image they showed today, he looked yeah. like he was in shape and shit. I was nah, like, but, nigga, is that yeah. computers or is nah, that really Martin? That's him. He's, he's extremely medicated, though. So he ain't really, like, his sense of humor and shit is, like, gone. <laughs> I don't know how this movie's gonna work. Nah, Will still, real. Will might carry him. Will still funny. He's extremely uh-huh. medicated. People said who went to when he came to Louisville. They said he's still funny. He was doing stand up shit. I ain't, I, I ain't heard that. Yeah. yeah, give give his IG a good scroll, dog. He got some videos on there. Check him uh, out. Check well, him out. They supposed to be. He's, he's not. He's yeah. not a funny guy anymore, man. Oh, damn. He ain't who he used to be at all. So Lordy. so yeah, no. So I think they just need to let some of these series things. They just need to go. let us stay what it is. I think they've ruined the legacy when they yeah. when they. But the I, the, the, the problem is nobody no 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 idea is new. No idea is original. Niggas is yeah, out of true. they fresh out of shit. It's either a novel, you know, that's turned into a movie, or, or they want to bring something back, yeah, or back. So, some something rebooted or something like that. As far as a reboot that like I've actually had like been excited for, I can't think of nothing. I can't think of nothing off the top of my head. I mean, no, I'm like, no, I, I the the. I I, I want to see that uh, at Glass. I want to see that, but that's not like I a... I said that movie's trash. Is it? I heard I seen bad reviews on it, but I still want to watch it. Glass is one of the movies that I'll rent off of uh, of an Apple TV or something <laughs> for the five <laughs> and fall asleep on it be like, ah, it was all right. Yeah. yeah. I like Split. Split was all right. Like, I like Split. I like Split. And and the thing the crazy thing about Split is I didn't know it was a sequel to Unbreakable, Unbreakable yeah. until Unbreakable, the very end. Yeah. To the that end shit was, cu- but I the like way how they, they connected did. them though to come out with a third but one. The M Night Shalom Shamala, Sh- yeah, hey. he's, he's good for that, dog. He's good for that. Do y'all did y'all ever watch Man, his movies? Be trash. He's, he's good. He's good for them movies. His movies be trash, but I'm an ending guy. His endings be fucking fire, dog. Have you ever watched? Uh, did y'all did y'all ever watch? Uh, uh, the last Airbender, the little cartoon. No. Oh man, that shit was fire. So he did a movie to that, and that shit was, it was a dud. It was I a dud. Yeah, I remember. But the that. way, but the way it ended was cold though. If you watch the cartoon, because so uh, you know he's got this little enemy. You know, it's a dude that you know he's he's fucking the dude up, and the dude's daddy's you know wants the main character dead or whatever. And so then at the end of the movie, you know, the, they bring the sister in. To you know, as a twist, like you know, next the sister's gonna try to get dude or whatever. But if you watch the cartoon and you knew the story, you'd be like, "Oh shit, that's old girl." You're right. So he always got them little twists and shit at the end. So when uh, what's it called? Unbreakable, Unbreakable? Gla- and well, split. Yeah, split was the split that you did not see that. You can't see end. that. And then at the end, they Bruce, twist. Yeah, the Bruce end to, was it Bruce, Bruce Willis sitting yeah, there? Willis. Yeah, that shit was fire. To bring the third movie, that that was a fire ass ending, dog. Yeah, I, I do want. I'll take your that. word for it. <laughs> So yeah, but, um, you got anything else on the on the? We ain't really say shit about the the rush hour and the bad boy no, shit. It's just that we're not excited. Uh, about no, it. I'm just saying. I, but there's really not much we can say about it at the moment. Like, I mean, we get excited for it, or we don't. And we can't really. Of course, it'll be like a different storyline and shit. So we can't even really go into that. Like, I don't. I like I said, I don't give a shit to watch it, but I would watch it if it was on Netflix. I'm not going to the movies. Yeah. I heard Netflix got some series starting. Damn, what was it for? I think it was a horror show. They like starting a series from some old movie. I kind of got hyped for it, but I can't even remember what. Can't the, remember what it was. Netflix. Uh, Netflix is kind of killing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> you see what they got? They got nominated for some kind of award for yeah. that. Networks getting nominated for, yeah. or and then they would turn they around and win movies movie. and shit. But yeah. they up there though. Look at them though. When you go to the shit, all the Netflix originals. Like yeah, yeah. They, but that, yeah, that, and that's, that's what, what I'm they, saying. A lot of these shows gotta, that people are going you crazy. Think, over. Dog, what's the shit that like when when you first got Netflix? It was so you know I'm gonna put up some old shit or some Fam, Walking I Dead. I had or Netflix some when I was getting the DVDs in the mail. You remember that shit? Yeah, I remember that. I remember when they did it. It was DVDs. like 2008. But it used to be, you used to, you got Netflix to watch old shit right. again. And now, they what got, you, what got, you got Netflix got, for? You they, only got they, it for the original. For the original. original. You're not content. watching, yeah, you're not every turn they, on 30 for 30 on Netflix. I, I, I be checking their horror movies. Man, shout out, out to Netflix. Some niggas, them niggas is really They be boring, killing bro. it with they the TV it, shows, man. It's like a one stop shop for real. They really doing it, bro. They they doing yeah. the shows right, man. I, I'm sad they getting rid of the Marvel shit because the Marvel shows is actually pretty good. But they were trash. What you think they <laughs> the, the first Punisher's season of fire, every bro. the first season of every Marvel show was was dope. The second yeah, season when like, they fell off. But the Punisher one and two was dope, and it's sad we probably not gonna get a third one. 
because they dropped everything else. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about the Marvel shows. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the docs. The docs? The docs. You only watch the docs? So I you don't watch, watch like no, Black I be watching Mirror the TV and... shows and shit. I never watched that. I fuck with Stranger Things, though. Stranger Things is fire. I'm glad yeah. they come back at the end of the year. I heard that, uh, you know, a lot of people talking about their U show. They said that's fire. Mm-mm. You thought it was trash? It was whack. I heard that Ted Bundy documentary was trash, too. It wasn't. I, I couldn't I get into started, it. I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I couldn't it. get into it. I turned it off. Man, I heard that. I do want to watch it, though. Dude, so, dude, you used to fuck dead women? I, like I said, I started and couldn't get into it, so I really don't yeah. know. Yeah. But what was fucked up, though? Is 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 how dude was dude was a sex symbol yeah. on the you see that they when the wanting, Ted punch, they that, was wanting to fuck him. No, I'm talking about recently after that's what I'm saying came after out, it yeah, came out. All yeah. the women was the women was on Ted dog. They and, said but then they was, got and in the documentary yeah. they talk about how he looked good. And he shit. was a char- oh, they got Zac Efron playing him in the movie. Yeah, man, they, they, about, they about to come oh, out. Oh, that's right, it's him. a real. They, they, well, they about to drop oh, a movie. That, that, this was the doc, and now oh, they're okay. gearing up for the movie. Okay, okay. they about yeah. to come out with a whole movie. Yeah, I heard about that, and I was like. I didn't want to watch it because yeah, when I heard you was watching it, then somebody told me Zac Efron was in it. Yeah, that's like, two different things. Oh, yeah, two different. it's two oh, okay. different things. Yeah. The movie's yeah. not. I fuck with yeah, the doc, the but I'm not watching Zac Efron. And that's Ted Bundy. This nigga. Who knows? I can kind of see it a little bit. Well, yeah, who knows? Yeah, but it's just crazy how depending on, I mean, you know, you can have a, a bunch of women's skulls in your refrigerator, but if you look good, they're going to be like, good. hey, you can take yeah. my skull. Nigga like me try that shit. Turn it off. Turn the podcast yeah. off. Let's get it. <laughs> 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 Man, y'all done, bro? Yeah, Better nah, get the fuck out of here, bro. Y'all niggas is talking about no question. bullshit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nigga shit on his own podcast. I shit it on y'all niggas. Right? No, no question this week, man. No question, no, man. man. Burn, be I'll be reading the questions before we start, and y'all niggas be like, "No, you got to be married for that." Nah, yeah. nigga, yeah. Tell whoever sent you them questions to yeah, send some to, better ones. To, to our defense, that shit you read today was kind of that was like I a, didn't even understand it. That was like a married man question. Like we can't answer this. Yeah. The question didn't even have shit. a question mark in it. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> talking man, about some shit about that. Vows, yeah, man, some I'm not nowhere near anybody's vows. Yeah, nah, I I'm not rolling with the question either, guys. But you read it though, so you. That's all I had. What did you? Come in here with the usual, a gallon of water. What'd you come in here with? I live here, nigga. (laughs) That's all good. I mean, man, we wrapping this up. Let's get out of here. All right, follow us on Instagram, New Pod Flow Podcast. Follow us on Twitter, New Pod Flow underscore Pod. Uh, follow us on the the Facebook. Well, don't follow us. Like the Facebook page. If you haven't already, make sure you grab some tickets to see us live down in Nashville on April 13th. Uh, we'll be opening for Battle of the Barns podcast. Uh, that's my cousin's show. If you haven't checked it out yet, do that. Um, I think they got early bird specials right now on the tickets up until Friday. So uh, if you want to save a little money and uh, make that trip down to Nashville, uh, go ahead and, and uh, you know, grab those tickets. They should be on Eventbrite. Actually, they're in uh, my link. They're in the link is on uh, my page uh, at Big Steve on IG, and it's also on the New Popo page. Um, so yeah, if you if you plan on making that trip, want to save a couple dollars, go ahead and grab your tickets now. Um, other than that, then we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. So we'll see y'all next week, man. Everybody be safe out there. We out.